Sorry, internet. I've got a little project I want to do today. A friend of mine has been in hospital for quite a while, so I want to make a wee present to cheer her up a bit. And she really loves penguins, so it's definitely going to have a penguin on it. I've also been feeling like giving curved improv piecing a go. I've never done it before, but I watched a man sewing video on it a while back and it didn't look impossibly hard. So I think what I'm going to do is make a curved improv background and then applique a penguin on top of that to make a little wall hanging. How hard can it be? <laughs> the penguin so I think my first step should be to sketch it out so that I know how big I need the background to be. It's looking really cute, but that's not really the sort of penguin we have in New Zealand. I think I'm going to redraw it as a hoiho, the yellow-eyed penguin, which is native to Aotearoa. Yeah, that's much better. Hard not to make him look grumpy with those eyebrows though. Time to make a background. I'm going to use lots of icy whites and blues which isn't strictly accurate because hoiho aren't found in Antarctica and it very rarely snows on the beaches here but I think it will look good so let's just call it artistic license so I know the theory with improv curve piecing you lie the two pieces on top of each other and then you cut a random curve and then the two sides should match I feel like some registration marks or something might be useful here to make sure I keep everything lined up as I sew. I'm really not sure about this next step. Well that seems to have worked okay, so I'll keep adding more pieces. reference marks were that useful in the end. I think just marking the start and end points is really all I needed. Hmm, that one didn't work out quite so well. It's not lying totally flat. But I'll keep adding to it and I'll see how it goes. Maybe I can hide the worst of it behind the penguin. It's not lying very flat. That's looking okay. It's definitely big enough for the penguin now, so I just need to square it up a bit. I'm going to raw edge applique the penguin, so I'll trace the pieces onto heat and bond and then iron them onto the fabrics. Doesn't he look good? It's not actually flat yet, but I've managed to sort of pleat the excess fabric along the seams as I was ironing so that it's lying a bit flatter. And I'm going to try and quilt over them so you won't even see this extra fabric, I hope. I've done a line of stitching right 
round the outside just to secure those flaps down. And now I'm going to add a bit of simple free motion quilting just to hopefully hide the fact that those flaps are there at all. There! You wouldn't even know it hadn't been flat all along. I think that turned out pretty good considering I really didn't know what I was doing. It's not the most technically proficient, but I think I managed to hide my mistakes quite well. Really, if nobody knows what I was aiming for, then all they see is the finished result. And I'm pretty happy with the finished result. I hope you've enjoyed watching me try something new and make a little gift for a friend. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet.